show you my bag of the day. This is my vintage coach court bag and it is from 1999 and it's just beautiful and I always forget to use it. I forget how much I really enjoy carrying this bag. Um, it's really very similar to the Cassie. It's like the same dimensions but it's different inside and I always forget how much more usable that makes it for me. So I just want to kind of go over it with you. So this is in the beautiful British tan and I have a little bag charm on here that's got leaves and a flower and I think it matches really well. I found this from um, Amazon sometime back. So I'm not sure if they still have it or not. This is by the brand Chala, C-H-A-L-A. -A. So if you do a search, they have all sorts of really unique different little um, bag charms out there with brass. And the thing I love about this is just, it's so practical. So in the back pocket here, I have my phone. That's where I always keep it. And you can fit a lot more in there. It's just perfect. These old bags are not lined in fabric. These are just the backside of the leather. So that's a really kind of luxurious touch. There are no feet. And the sides just look like this. There's the hang tag. The other side and the front. And you can wear it two ways. It does have a nice little top handle here, or it has an adjustable crossbody strap. Now, I do have another um, vintage coach court which is in black leather, and that one is a few years older, and that one does not have an adjustable strap. So they do vary, and I believe the newer versions had the buckle with the adjustments. You've got five holes there, and it's a very generous length strap. It's not short at all. And then the other one I have is just the leather strap without any buckles. So it has the brass hardware. This one has really nice hardware still. I got this a couple years ago. I have videos, maybe it was just a year ago. I have videos that are about a year old on this bag, so if you want to do a search for those, you can. But I got this from the original owner and she had taken very good care of it, so it's still very clean. So the inside of the flap is also leather, isn't that nice? And then you've got a pocket in the front here, and then you've got all this area in here. So right now I don't have my keys on me, but usually I would keep them in this front pocket. And right now I have a little pouch from Dress Up Your Purse. And I'll put a code below so you can get a discount. But I have coins and little um, earbuds in there. And this is leather. It's got piping. It's really nice and handy size. So I have that in there. But you could fit a lot more. It doesn't really expand too much. It's not like the um, Rambler's Legacy bag where it has a little expansion guess it on the side this is just a flat pocket but you can fit easily keys in there phone whatever you need and so then in the front here I have my glasses and let's see. I've got my Dooney and Burke large sip card holder I love this thing it is so handy and I ended up buying another one just recently I ordered it in pebbled leather I want to see how that one is but this has just such a nice feel to it, and it is very, very similar to the Louis Vuitton. I think it was the Zip Around coin purse. Really similar size. Got my little vitamin box that fit in there. I have my little Vachetta Kirigami pouch. This was also from Dress Up Your Purse. Absolutely love this. It's got a really nice little hook here to hook it on your bags and a keychain and in here I just have extra masks just in case I go somewhere where they're required usually they're not anymore which is nice but sometimes they are and then in the very back here you have another pocket I've got another mask in there but usually this is where I would probably keep my keys and then look at this 
This huge pouch fits in there. See the inside is just leather. So you've got the suede leather on one side and the bottom is just the smooth leather. And then on these very old bags, the creed is imprinted into the leather. We've got a little old vintage ring full here. And then in my pouch here, this is just a cotton Estee Lauder pouch I got with a makeup purchase. I love it. Looks like old labels. And in here, this is my catch-all. I've got band-aids, pepper spray, got an inhaler, got this little guy from Amazon, and these are great. There's the brand name on there, but I got a pack of four of these for $17. And you press this button here and it's a flashlight and if you pull out this pin like a little grenade it has the loudest alarm ever it's amazing so got those for a bunch of family members they have that in there too so see this does hold a lot and I think it holds more than the um, coach Cassie because it doesn't have as many compartments splitting up the interior you've got a much wider area to work with so on the Cassie, I don't know if I'd even attempt to put this big makeup pouch in there. But in here, it just drops in, no problem. And then you can still have room to fit everything else in there. I've got the wallet, Kirigami, little vitamin pouch, glasses. This went in here, and it very easily closes back up. Nothing is strained. So check out these Coach Court bags. They really have the look of either the tiny Kip bag or the um, Coach Cassie that has been discontinued, the bigger one. They look very similar, but they just, they last a lifetime. And since these are not lined with fabric, you can dunk them, to clean them, and condition them. So wonderful bags. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.